The green tree frog is the Louisiana state amphibian, as well as that of Georgia. They are super abundant across the state, appearing near most forms of shallow fresh water, including ditches, ponds, creeks, and swamps. Another name for these frogs are bell frogs because of the bell-like noises that male frogs make. The females of the species rarely make any noise. These frogs make up a major part of Louisiana's recognizable ecosystem. Unfortunately, they are also under attack. You see, the Cuban tree frog snuck into the Florida Keys in the 1920s. By 1951, they had made it all the way to the continental United States. Conservationalists discovered the beginning of their invasion of Louisiana in early 2018. It is speculated that the Audubon Zoo ordered palm trees from Florida that came with a couple uninvited guests. The stowaway Cuban frogs have quickly spread across the entire state. They are very hard to distinguish from Louisiana's native frogs, as Cuban tree frogs can be light green, dark green, pasty gray, yellow, or even brown. Some might have spots, while others don't, but all of them are much larger than many of Louisiana's native species. The biggest difference between the two species is the white stripe that native Louisiana frogs have separating their green bodies with their white bellies. Cuban tree frogs can breed quickly and produce a lot of offspring and can live just about anywhere that has temperatures over 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The biggest problem with these frogs is that they love to feast on native frogs. Another one of Louisiana's favorite amphibians is the southern toad. These toads are mostly nocturnal as adults, but can be found at any time of the day when they're young. Toads do not cause warts, but they are toxic, so never put one in your mouth and never touch your eyes after touching a toad. This toxin is useful for defense against predators, but toads can also inflate themselves to look more intimidating, and as a last resort, they will pee themselves to make sure that they taste very, very bad. Due to Louisiana's swampy ecosystem, the state is home to several different types of amphibians. The green tree frog, the Cuban tree frog, and the southern toad are only three examples, but there are also American bullfrogs, cane toads, and oak toads, and there's many more. Although frogs and toads are seen as gross by some people, they are actually very important to the ecosystem because they limit the population of many species of insects.